All right, thanks for joining us for this special edition of Chatterbox Reds. I'm so excited to have Seth Reese uh, joining the program. Seth is an incredible graphic designer uh, who has uh, put up some mock jerseys for the Reds that I can't wait to share with you and kind of get Seth's uh, thoughts and insights onto these and and uh, the need, because there's a big need for new Reds jerseys. But before we get to that, I want to make sure we shout out our sponsor. That is Deep South Commodities, DSC is a leader in renewable commodities for biofuel production. They specialize in used cooking oil collection, aggregation, and sales. Visit www.deepsouthcommodities.com for more information. And thanks so much to our partners at DSC who make all that we do here with Chatterbox Reds possible. All right, well, Seth Reese, I'm so excited to have you on the, the program with us today. Um, you you uh, always create such a, a fun and cool cool. Uh, uh, Twitter uh, stir whenever you release some jerseys and, and for good reason, because you hey, do some yeah. incredible stuff uh, for the people who may not, you know, be familiar with everything that you've done. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself, what you do graphic design wise, how you got into this, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I uh, started doing graphic design probably right out of college. So like 2017. So I was an accountant at GE on the banks and uh like just after work i would do jersey designs for mostly the nba um then started doing more baseball football so i did a lot of bengal stuff and then that moved on to reds uh and then that to basically turn into a career uh in 2020 during the pandemic and so now i do graphic design for pro football focus and the nba wow and, that's fantastic yeah it's a climb what what all do you do uh, for like pro football focus? What kind of what kind of stuff are you doing on a daily basis? So most of it is social media graphics. So basically anything you see on their Twitter, or Instagram uh, is usually me or one of uh, my teammates. But it's a lot of you know recap graphics, stat graphics, stuff like that. So very simple stuff, and then some marketing stuff as well whenever that's needed. But it's mostly social media. When you make like one social media post, and I know. Like not all things are certainly created equal. Uh, and I'm sure you've probably become a more well-oiled machine as you've gone along. <laughs> How long does something like that take for like even just one of those posts? I mean, it depends. A lot for PFF, it, we have a lot of like templated stuff. Um, so it could take 10 minutes. But if I'm like trying to make something, you know, say Joe Burrow has a really good week and we're like, hey, we want something that looks really cool. It probably takes two to three hours, mostly because I'm a perfectionist and that's an annoying part of it. But um, two to three hours usually, and that's when something that stands out a little bit more than just your normal, like take a picture, throw a couple numbers and words on it, and then boom, ship it out. What What's the one that's popped off the most so far? Oh, man. Uh, I think it was after the the titans uh bengals playoff game in 2021 2022 um i made this like kind of like hud graphic you know like my best way to describe it was like you know on halo the hud on halo where it has like you know your uh health your all that stuff i made something like that with burrow just because he was sacked like nine times and it was just a hard rough game and i made just a graphic like that and it blew up i think it had like 1500 likes on twitter was reposted everywhere it was wild like my phone was just absolutely blowing up <laughs> that's awesome well we'll have to have the the bengals guys have you on and uh i go through some of the bengals stuff but we'll we'll focus on the reds and it's funny enough this was not planned where i think we're no. in the exact same jerseys are you wearing a larkin i am yes i am i have a larkin on too how hilarious is that the best uh, shortstop of all time well, I was I was doing this and I was like, I gotta wear a jersey. I feel like I should wear a jersey for this. And this is the only jersey that I have that that that's not just plain. And we don't want plain because part of this is we want the Reds to upgrade their jerseys because it's oh, long yeah. overdue. So I t talk about the the current jerseys because the Reds just have the 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 home whites, the 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 road grays, and then the alternate red. The alternate red's okay. I don't hate yeah. that. I don't uh, hate it either. But it, it's so stinking boring and like. The Reds aren't the Yankees or the Dodgers. Like they don't have these historic jerseys that you have to keep running out there. It, yeah. It's it's long overdue, right? Right, and I think especially kind of uh, the 2019 season, I think kind of showed us that of like, man, you look at the history of the Reds and you see all the cool jerseys that they had. You know, the 
the sleeveless ones. Everyone loved those. But just even, you know, the big red machine pullovers, the, you know, pinstripes, there's a really, like, great uniform history with the Reds. And even though I think the current ones they have aren't terrible, it's just very, for one, they've been around a long time. I don't know the actual date. But two, you know, like like you said, it just doesn't really move you. And that is why the City Connects were, like, such a big hit was, like, man, this is different. You know, it was such a giant leap for them. Whereas, you know, like, I think the home and aways, they're just, they're there. <laughs> That's my yeah. best way to describe it. It's just, they're there. And they're not what, terrible. But they're nothing great. What was your thoughts on the, the City Connect? And I, I want to know, did, did your opinion change at all over time? Because I, I personally, the first time I saw them, I was like, okay, this is cool. It didn't really, like make me go this is the greatest thing ever and i yeah. felt like the once i saw them wear it on that first friday night and it had that whole vibe it really made me go from like more in the middle to all right i'm fully on board these are awesome yeah and i when i first saw them i was a little iffy just because i was like man black like that's interesting um you know and uh, it was definitely it was so different from anything any red jersey we had ever seen. I think that was the like the biggest part. But like you said, like the Friday night one, the energy, like any time Friday night you would go into the ballpark and you knew they were wearing those jerseys. And then like as the season progressed, it seemed like every big moment during the red season was in the City Connect jerseys. Yeah. Like, and I think that's the kind of thing now to where I came around, I was like, you know it might not check all the boxes of what is a good uniform in the sense of it, you know, like the design aspect of it. But I think, you know, the entire point of uniforms is, you know, you want your fans to be proud of wearing something. And I think fans really latched onto it, especially with the young guns coming up. I think it was just kind of, it was kind of like a cultural shift kind of, which I think was cool. Yeah. And it also made for an elite dad polo, which uh, I'm a big <laughs> fan of. Um, oh, anytime you can get black, it's just an elite, immediate elite yep. clothing. Every, every every polo should be black. I mean, it's. Just, I agree. It, it's how it should be. Uh, let's go back to nineteen nineteen or not nineteen nineteen two thousand nineteen when they did have a nineteen nineteen jersey. But what a fun year that was! Oh man, like I, I wish the Reds had like ten different jerseys. I know some people oh, yeah. might not like that, but it just it was like such an. Like a, a one sixty two game season is such a long season. Oh yeah, and to have something different all the time, it was incredible. And I was like, I don't know why teams don't have ten different jerseys and like make people go, "Ooh, which jerseys are they wearing tonight?" Because it just creates like a extra excitement that's oh yeah, that's not there. Yeah, I mean it was cool too because especially like for me being a big jersey guy, I didn't really like know the whole jersey history of the reds i didn't know they had blue in their color scheme for a while like stuff like that where it's kind of a learning experience too like oh wow like these are pretty cool um and like you said it's the kind of thing where you're just like man i wonder if they're wearing the 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 sleeveless jerseys tonight or i wonder if they're wearing the cream pinstripes or i want to you know it's that kind of like cool anticipation and i know logistically obviously that would be a nightmare <laughs> if you had 20 different jerseys but at the same time like it is cool and especially for a team like the reds or you know say the yankees or dodgers some historical teams like that i think it's a cool thing of like you get to like shine a light on all the past that you've had all right what is your favorite reds jersey all time this one yeah oh yeah that or the um the um 1976 like the world series the peak pullover the red and white thick striped on the uh, collar and the uh, sleeves i mean i just think like you know pete rose uh concepcion all them and i see those pictures joe morgan and it's like dude that uniform is just clean like and that's the coolest part is you're not really doing anything special but it's just clean and i think eras and the success of teams really mark whether a jersey is seen that way and so I kind of think like that type of jersey is like, man, you look at it, you're like, yeah, that's just, it's cool. So my favorite Reds jersey kind of leads into to your mock designs. And I don't know if this is the most 
famous ones that you've done so far, but uh, definitely my my are. personal favorite. Um, so the the road one looks like a modern upgrade of what the Reds wore in the mid '90s, and yes. I love I love 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 pinstripes. And so, man, these two, the home and away, I was like, please, Reds, just do it now. Like these are incredible. <laughs> I love them. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it was inspired by the um, the Field of Dreams game a couple years ago where they wore the pinstripes. And I'm just like, man, I think I posted that night, too, on Twitter. I'm like, okay, I'm officially in. The Reds need pinstripe jerseys. And I posted something similar to what these were, and it blew up. And it kind of shows, like, every Reds fan is like, you know, if they had pinstripes, I honestly wouldn't hate it. And uh, I just think, yeah, it's such a clean look. and especially the road i mean i i'm a big sucker for any cream jersey so the home creams are my favorite but like the road grays i think are just incredibly clean with just like the smaller red pinstripes as well it just adds something to a road gray whereas you look around the league and it's like a lot of the road grays are just road grays like that's what and that's their entire purpose is hey you're only wearing this on the road you're not really showing out for anyone throw this on get some dirt on it call it a day Whereas I think yep. like it just adds something. Yeah, but your your road grays aren't like going overboard either. Where it's yeah. like you know, I feel like there is something to you know marking. This is the road team. This is the home team, and yeah. I think part of that. But you're doing it in a way where it it, it makes it a little more you know have a little bit more more flair. Oh, uh, yeah. But I'm I'm with you on on the on the the cream. Do you have a favorite uh, major league jersey that's in cream currently? So the Angel City Connect, I actually really loved the uh, the like surfboard themed one with the cream, and I love even the like the San Francisco Giants, which is so sacrilegious to say because that franchise has hurt us. But their home jerseys, like I love the color scheme of just the cream as a base. Even the Brewers, where they have that, they went to like that cream base instead of white. Whereas obviously, I think if every team did it, it would get old very fast. But I do think like with certain teams doing it it kind of just adds something different to just your normal white home jersey and i feel like the reds as the first mlb franchise like it is kind of a cool significance of like cream you kind of have this like it's older fashioned like type theme to it the moment you see it's not white if that makes any sense whereas like and plus they had cream jerseys you know in the early stages of their franchise so i thought it was a cool way to kind of pull from the history of the team's uniforms and kind of modernize it. I love it. All right. The next one, this is uh, uh, the red alternate Jersey. Yes. I, I love, I love this one as well. This could be used as a, a home or a road Jersey. Yeah. Um, you know, either way, uh, what was the inspiration for this one? Yeah. So I have always kind of been of the opinion that I would love to, a Reds jersey, a Reds home jersey specifically to have Cincinnati on the chest. Just because like, you know, we're all we're all pretty proud to be Reds fans and we're proud to be from Cincinnati. And so I always thought, you know, rather than the Reds script, which I don't I don't even hate. Like I actually like the Reds script jerseys more than a lot of people. But I've always thought that having Cincinnati across the chest of a home jersey specifically would just be really cool. And so that was the inspiration for it. And then just the wave pattern, just because, you know, the city, the stadium is right on the river. You know, you have a lot of river imagery and a lot of the things that the Reds do now. Even the city flag is has the waves. So I just thought it's a different way rather than just arching the, uh, the word mark. It's a cool differentiator from just your normal Cincinnati jerseys. Yeah. Yeah, the very very clean. I, I I like this as well. You didn't really go you know too crazy with it, but it, it really I I think just gets the job done. Yeah. All right, the next one. I'm not sure on this one. I got to be yeah. honest. This one, it, it I, I've kind of gone gone back and forth. So this is I guess an an alternate city connect that that's yeah. red. I feel like I would have to see this with with like a pants combination and a hat to really make a decision one way or another. Yeah, and this was uh, when the City Connects first came out, I basically was just like, what would it look like in every other color? Like in the sense of like, what would the Reds look like if they used the City Connect branding as their just, you know, day-to-day -day branding? 
Um, and honestly, like this one, like you said, I don't love it, but at the same time, like I imagine if they wore it with like white pants, I think it'd be a pretty clean look, but red on red obviously would be a little much, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's like if they had white pants with either black lines or red lines down the, uh, the sides, I honestly, I wouldn't hate it too much. I, I can just imagine the, the, the red pants. I mean, it would, oh, it'd be, a, it'd be a statement. You would know who you're playing that night. That's for sure. I'm sure uh, people on cameras would be thrilled to see <laughs> red just everywhere. What would you think about this one with almost the same black pants that they're wearing now? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I I trying to think of like if a team has black pants outside of, you know, a City Connect uniform. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be bad. I think like you said it would be it would be a statement. You would know exactly who you are playing and it kind of I guess would give more like uh like spring ball vibes you know like the teenage high school teams that just they wear black everything even though it's like 100 degrees outside um this this would be a great spring training jersey yeah yeah Yeah. now now that you say it it's like wouldn't be terrible i i do love the uh the mr redhead just like on the red jersey like i actually do like that one a lot but yeah it'd be cool to just like use spring training as like a testing ground for like yeah. would this jersey work would it not because i mean like hey that's how you figure stuff out it's like you see it yeah i don't know if they're gonna buy like 99 jerseys though with all the players they <laughs> have in, on a free trading roster to, to, to oh come them. on write the check <laughs> let's go <laughs> all right the next uh couple here uh these ones are pretty cool um just just some alternates here um what are the inspiration for these two yeah, so a lot of people in my comments, whenever I post red jerseys, are like, we need the vest. We need the vest. And so this, these two specifically were like, okay, what would a vest look look like, you know, with the current font and word mark and stuff like that, to where it kind of turned out better than I honestly thought it would. Um, I, I mean, I am a sucker for the uh, pinstripe, like Ken Griffey Jr. kind of sleeveless ones. Uh, and I mean, it's not my personal preference of a look of like what I would want the Reds to wear. But like you said, if it's like a Sunday only type thing, like, hey, Sundays in July, we're wearing the sleeveless vest. And then we sign Derek Dietrich again. And boom, we're good to go. <laughs> But yeah, it's like it's just cool ideas of like, okay, what would a vest look like with the Reds' current branding versus like you know in the nineteen nineties, it was a different look. I just imagine like thirty years from now, trying to tell people about Derek Dietrich in twenty nineteen, oh. like, <laughs> I, I, it's just like such a wild that that whole season was just really insane. Um, I like the saw were like, someone say the, the, they were the best worst team in the MLB. <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> was like they, were, they were fun. They were like kind of competitive, kind of not. I'm not sure. They kind of um, had an attitude to them, like Amir Garrett, Dietrich. Like they kind of had an edge to them, which it kind of yeah. fit the jerseys, like the sleeveless jersey. It's like, okay, like they played guys, those jerseys for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Where it's, and that's the thing with like any of these jerseys, like, Especially with the young team coming up, my thought process is always like, does it fit the vibe of like what is coming up? And, you know, and that's why I think the City Connects work for a lot of people is like it does. It's very youthful. It's very different from the Reds, like older branding where it's like, you know, can we mesh the like legendary branding with something that is like more youthful? And I feel like sleeveless jerseys kind of kind of take the cake on that one. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. The last two I got here. Um, I, I love that this one on the left is uh, it, is very fun. Talk me through what the inspiration for this one. Yes. Yeah, so that one is strictly uh, WKRP in Cincinnati inspired uh, jersey. This was before the City Connects came out. Uh, there were rumors of like, oh, what could it look like? You know, stuff like that. And I had done a series where uh, I had posted a couple of the City Connect uniform ideas that I had. One was Queen City, just in the red font across the chest. Uh, one was like uh, the river pattern from the Reds or from the City of Cincinnati flag with the Reds logo in the middle. 
Um, and then this last one was the WKRP in Cincinnati, just because I had a lot of people telling me like, oh, this would be a cool, like, you know, t-shirt design or something like that. And I'm like, why not just throw it on a jersey and see what it looks like? Uh, and like, I had never watched that show in my life, like no clue what it is, but I had a lot of people telling me like, I think this would be a cool alternate to have. So I threw it on a, just like a vest look too, rather than like a buttoned uh, jersey. And I actually, funny enough, did a jersey swap of Tom Seaver from my uh, photo from way back and jersey swapped that jersey onto him. Uh, and I mean, hey, it kind of worked. It's it's just a, it's another like cool like something that goes off of the Reds current branding like something different and I think that's what the City Connect was going to be was like hey we're not just going to stick to the Reds logo and a number like let's do something different. This would be a really fun Saturday night jersey like this is what we wear on Saturday nights for home games. Yeah. Um, this feel like it would really like fit 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 that vibe. Even All right, like a, then- a giveaway jersey, you know, like hey. Yeah. Sunday afternoon, we have this WKRP in Cincinnati Reds theme jersey. I feel like people would people would go and grab that. All right, and then this this last one here. Oh, I love this one with the uh uh the, the, the Jesse cla- classic logo. Yeah. Rest in peace, Jesse. Um uh th- this was fun. This is one of your older ones. This is one of yeah. your first ones that really popped off, right? Yes. So this was I think 2021 where the first like set of jerseys I posted where as like you said, I love the like spring training logo that they used on the caps. And so I was like, well, you know, it would, I think it would look good on a Jersey as an alternate, obviously not like your home in a way, but as another alternate Jersey look. And so, and then add the pinstripes in there just cause if you're throwing it back to that time, that logo from uh, early reds, uh, period, like you have to throw pinstripes on it and then the cream as well, just because why not make it just like a time capsule jersey rather than just like white? And obviously, like a lot of people like the white, and so do I, but like just I don't know why the cream just does it for me, it just gives something different. I'm with you, I'm with you 100%, Seth. Well, Seth, this has been uh, a lot of fun, really enjoyed doing this with you. I yeah. just, I, I, I'm obsessed with your your work and uh, I'm so glad we were able to uh, get this together. Tell the folks where they could find you and uh, you know, follow along all the cool stuff that you post. Yeah. So uh, I'm on Twitter uh, at Seth R 94. You'll probably be seeing a lot more red jerseys from me throughout the year. Uh, And then on Instagram, I am at designed S R. I don't post there too much, but mostly when I do, it's going to be Cincinnati stuff only. So that's where I'm at. All right. Well, thanks so much, Seth, um, and uh, appreciate you again. Thank you, man.